Hi there, and welcome to this special anniversary edition of Stubbs Aquatics. Today, I will be doing a tribute to my husband, celebrating his second anniversary of his YouTube channel. As you all know, it can be challenging when you first start out. However, I have never met a more determined, dedicated, and hardworking person than Stubb. In the beginning, Chris enlisted the help from a lot of people, including our kids and other YouTubers, to get him started. Today, he does his own filming and editing. Chris started his channel two years ago in hopes of start sharing his love of nature, fish, and gardening. It was important for him to meet like-minded people to share his ideas with and to learn from. As some of you know, Stubbs has a wide interest in various things from aquariums to ponds to gardening and a few other interests in between. Being that Stubbs is retired, he has more time to dream and come up with more plans for his hobbies and interests. As most of you know, Chris has suffered from some mental health issues in the past, including social anxiety, but his love of fish has provided him with the peace and tranquility he needed to feel better and is now doing fantastic. Stubbs set certain goals for himself each year. Did he reach them? Mm, yes and no. He had hoped to be at 1,400 subscribers after two full years and is currently at 1,180, which is so close to his goal. So if you haven't already subscribed to his channel, hit the like button and notification and consider subscribing. Let's help my hubby reach his target. One of the other goals that he set was to get noticed by a company, and he did. He got sponsored by Higer, and he couldn't be happier. He gets new products each and every month to test, and he certainly puts them through their paces. In honor of Chris's anniversary celebration, he would like to say thank you to everyone who helped him along the way. He would like to give back to some channels that he follows who may be just starting out and are very underrated. So watch and follow along as there are some great channels from around the world. Down below, he will leave links to these channels. Let's start out with GV Aquarium Australia. This has to be one of Stubbs' favorite channels. They have great content and don't overload you too much with too many videos. If you like cichlids and do-it-yourself tank related channels, this one is for you. It's a real family channel where they don't take themselves too seriously. They have some really nice planted tanks as well. They have one of the nicest and most natural looking cichlid tanks. You have to see it to believe it. It's massive. Stubb really likes the step-by-step do-it-yourself projects that will really help with the look of your aquarium, including how to get house plants to grow out of them. He has parlor palms growing out of his tanks. The Good Life Homestead in Bulgaria. Stubb started watching YouTube videos on off-grid living and living off the land. We try to grow as much as we can. This family takes it to the next level. They have lived around the world, but wanted to find a spot where they could homestead within their budget. This UK family found their dream location in Bulgaria. They grow all kinds of fruits, vegetables, and they raise livestock. They try to be as self-reliant as possible. Very admirable. They have a beautiful koi pond, goats, chickens, and they grow their own fruits and vegetables. It's just a wholesome feel-good channel as a family living out their dreams. The recent outdoor kitchen build is out of this world. They are just a great family with a great channel. Fish is my hobby official from the Philippines. Great content, lots of updates on his beautiful fish, and what a collection. He has some amazing species from fancy goldfish to koi to his great collection of numerous types of live bearers. And did I mention his stunning cichlids, especially the tiger Oscars? And he has barbs right up Stubbs Alley. What is up with Stubb and his barbs? He also has a beautiful pond where he can keep his tropicals all year round. His videos are relatively short and with no talking, but that's okay as the fish are so stunning, no words are required. The videos are relaxing and they draw you in. Not to mention, he's a great guy. 
Let's get him to 1,000 subscribers, shall we? Aquarium Daily UK. Stop first notice Andrew's nice small pond with a great little waterfall. Very relaxing. They'll be changing the pond around on upcoming videos to make it larger. Aquarium Daily has a lot of live videos that show hatching and development of his fish. He has some stunning angelfish. Andrew lives in Yorkshire in the UK. He hasn't kept fish for about four decades until his wife Donna acquired some guppies which set off the fish issues. And as you guessed, a third, a fourth tank until they reached a total of 17 tanks. Before they knew it, they started a channel called Aquarium Daily. They have a large population of angelfish, bristlenose, placos, bronze and black Venezuelan quarries, along with a selection of goldfish and other tropical fish and shrimp. Andrew is a down-to-earth guy who is eager to learn and share his knowledge. Those Venezuelan quarries are beautiful. PA Fish and Tanks. This is a true family channel with Dad Mike and Mom Crystal and their son David, all taking active roles. The channel started after a visit to Ohio Fish Rescue to meet Big Rich and tour his place. David and Crystal have been collecting fish and tanks for many years along with reptiles and some lizards, bearded dragons. They also have turtles including snapping, box and red-eared sliders. They have 47 plus tanks fresh water and salt water. They have 50 species of fish in the house and basement fish room. Crystal has been helping people with fish and reptile rescue and rehoming them for many years. Very admirable of you Crystal. They recently installed an air system in the basement. I guess when you have 47 plus tanks you need an air system and they did a great job installing it. They have some great tanks and some pretty amazing fish too. Green Machine Sweden. Magnus is a very knowledgeable, interesting family guy who is a wizard at the art of bonsai. He lives on an island that is off the coast of mainland Sweden. He has a beautiful koi pond with a state-of-the-art filtration unit that he has built from scratch. He is currently putting a filter house over the top of it. He has a great greenhouse where he grows all kinds of plants including cacti and numerous types of carnivorous plants as well as vegetables. He is always building or doing a do-it-yourself project. I hope he would show his amphibian enclosures a little more as they are beautiful and very interesting. Pelham's Aquatics. Jeff's channel is a straightforward channel where he shares his 40 plus years experience in the aquarium world. He keeps numerous African cichlids, including shell dwellers. He breeds numerous fish and loves his snails and shrimps as well. Jeff recently got the plant bug just like Chris did. He has really got into the live plants and started doing waterscapes. He just did a vi video using moss and anubias on Dragonstone and did a fantastic job. A special quick shout out and thanks to Allison Nicholson the kindest person on YouTube. Brennan at Steve the Springtails. Fish Dynamics from Singapore with great exotics and predator fish. Tim and Liam's Fish and Turtles. And Lisa at Growing on Vancouver Island. Stubb would like to thank everyone for their support over the last two years. It means a lot to him and to me as well. Take care everyone.